Our own sales guys would refuse to use it because it was damn slow. I mean, and then we just rewrote it. Yeah, we learned how to fix it. No? That's what I'm saying. Like, you, know, yeah. you said that like, you already launched a product and you experimented with it, you're fine with it. You're, you may be good with your financials and all, but for a startup, it will be sucking. We'll be out of business, right? Like, so, well, uh, yeah. this, you know, even if you hire experienced people, this kind of thing would happen. You know, stuff goes wrong all the time. All right. Experienced people will find more innovative ways to screw up too. So it's yeah, uh, that's yeah. the reality. And right? You'll be paying them more for this. Yeah, business. exactly. So you may as well pay less to less. Right, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I'm not. It's a joke. But do you I'm buy that? that? Like you know, there's a saying. It says like three good people is better than one good person. So do you agree or do you? Agree? I I totally agree with this. I'm just saying that when you hire experienced versus if you are if your variable is experience versus inexperience, that alone doesn't tell you whether the person is good or bad. In other words, I, I'm asking you not to make this equation experience equals good. That need not be true. I have hired experienced people who produce much less than in, inexperienced people. So I've learned all of these lessons. So. Okay, yeah. so we are actually out of time. We'll just quickly take this one question.